Hey guys, it's uh, been a busy week, uh, lots of posts coming in, so I thought it was time for another post bag video. Um, I've got to link them what a couple of these are, but the others I'm not so sure. So um, as usual, just going to start going through, I'll place the links down below for anyone that's interested and uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So first package is some mini OLED screens. If you can uh, sort of focus in on them, and these are the just the tiny um, zero point nine sixth of an inch uh, screens. And I'll open one up just so we can see. Um, and yeah, they're just. Tiny, quite small, but the idea is, I'm thinking on the BMS is to um, maybe have like a small push button, um, and then what it'll do is it'll display the um, current cell information in total pack. Um, and the idea is you've got a push button and that you can press it, and then it only stays on a certain amount of time and it goes off, so you're not using up too much power. So that's the first one. So I'll place that out of the way. Package number two, expansion board module is what it says, so let's see. And that's not at all, that is just a whole bunch of eight pin, um, sorry, 10 pin, uh, two by five um, female header pins, and that's um, some boards that I utilize um, in sell on Tindy and other places, utilize those, so just restocking on that front. So I'll move those out of the way. Sorry, it's my Windows machine is making a lot of noise. Let's see if we can mute him. Okay, package number three. Oh, okay, now is the two of these or just one? This is a ASP A266 base board. Um, but what it does have is a small breakout connector for I squared C with the pull ups already built in. Um, and I thought this might make a nice little control board for the um, BMS. Um, and then coupled with the screen that I showed prior. Um, that would be a nice small form factor um, to pop in a case, um, but it was nice just having those on. The only thing I need to check is that the pitch of this connector is absolutely tiny. So I need to see um, what the deal is there um, and to see what connector I need to get. Um, it also does have um, battery management built in. So that would be quite handy. Um, I know it's monitoring a huge battery pack, but it would be nice just to have a small battery acting as a kind of UPS. Um, I picked that up off AliExpress, I think, and it was, it was pretty cheap. It wasn't too much more expensive than um, any other Wemos style boards. Now these are kind of holders, stroke, lenses. Um, there's a project I've got coming up, um, which is going to use some infrared LEDs. Um, but one of the challenges is to get them to be able to, sorry, back on camera, there, is to focus. Um, so the style of LEDs that I had on the last post back, um, and you get that star PCB, that just fits perfectly on the back of there. Um, and then I've bought two different types and I've bought, if I remember correctly, a 15 degree um, and a, a 60 degree, which will give a, a narrower focus on the 15 degree. Um, in the, and they just snap in there. Um, and the 60 will give a, a wider. I wasn't sure which would work best, so um, it was really cheap, so I just got both types. I do already have some of these, but if I remember correctly, they're like 120 degree. So it, it was for the game, the garden light, so they would be more suitable um, for something where you would disperse a lot of light. Okay. 
Okay, these are some um, NeoPixel esque. Um, I'll just open these up. These are AP106 style LEDs, I believe. Um, four pin RGB, um, and they are fully addressable. Um, and I just thought they were pretty cool. I saw it mentioned on Twitter. Um, so I just thought I'd pick some up. Um, it's quite handy that like regular NeoPixel style things, you can string them, uh, the data pin in and out. Um, so you can create long lengths of them um, without needing um, to take up a whole load of pins on your microcontroller. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Okay. This will actually be paired up, I'm thinking, with this next package. Um, these are inserts for the sample book type things. I know a lot of people use them, but I'd never bothered. And I've got a big bag of SMD components, uh, resistors and capacitors. Um, and every time I need to get one, I've got to get the bag out, figure out when, which one's right, go snip it down. So the idea is that these pages go... And I've just cut the book. That was, that was good going. <laughs> That's a good start. I have a sample book with a nice cut along the top. There's a lesson learned. Should know better. Um, and yeah, and it comes with a bunch of sample pages already, so I'm not sure if I realistically needed the extra pages. But again, they were pretty cheap. And again, I've done a nice slice along that one, but never mind. Um, you should be more careful with a knife. Um, so yeah, so these will just go in here as additional pages. Uh, and that allow me to keep everything organized and that's one thing I've been doing recently is I now have a I wouldn't say a new office but a new office layout um, you know it's new cut map I've got a new desk um, things are I get them pretty organized um, I've been putting some things on Twitter about things I've been printing um, so I think uh, I maybe might do just an overview video showing the uh, what I've done basically, and it, that encompasses things from soldering station to 3D printers and everything else. Um, and I'm talking, I'm wasting time here, so I'm going to leave that. So, so yeah, so it's just a, a few small things. Um, there'll be another post bag next week. Um, and then hopefully we'll be getting on with some projects using these things. So uh, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like, uh, subscribe, and uh, thanks so much, guys.